game smooth yet sinister Coming through to diminish you And this here's the finisher <laughs> Check it out uh. What's going on guys? Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web And as I'm sure you all may know by now The 7 star units have finally arrived baby so uh, we got the seven star starters. They were the ones that started it all. Vargas, Selena, Lance, Ease, Atro, and the Lord Magris. They all have the seven star forms now here in Brave Frontier Global. This is what their forms look like, just in case you did not know by now. So what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to do our first official seven star review. And we're going to start this thing off with no one other than the man himself, the Lord Magris. So... The first thing I want to talk about guys, information off to the left side of the majority of it, but just to help you guys out, your evolution materials that you're going to need. The first one you need is known as a Dark Mecha God, which with the release of the 7 star units guys, you get them in the Vortex Dungeon. You see it right here, Hidden Unlimited Power, the Mecha Gods Awaken. So you go in here and you get the Dark God respective to the element of the unit you're trying to evolve. So for example, we're talking about the Lord Magris here. He's a dark element. So you want to go to the Sanctum of Dark, level 6 here, right at the top. You want to complete that mission. And if you're able to complete it, you will get a Dark Mecha God, which is one of the necessary evolution materials to evolve Magris to his 7 star form. So you need that Dark Mecha God, a Miracle Totem, a Dark Totem, a Dark Idol. And then you need what's called a Legend Stone, guys. Now... In order to get your legend stone, you go to your brave points and rewards here. You go to redeem prizes. You scroll down to the bottom. And at the bottom you see here one legend stone. They got it on a discounted price right now for 100 BP, guys. I've already got the one I can get for the week, so I can't get another one. But if you haven't got it yet, save up 100 BP, which is fairly quick to do. I think you can get that in like two days. And then uh, go get this legend stone because you need it to evolve your starter to a seven star form. So you get all those materials and then you go evolve it like you would any other unit. But you need 1.5 million Zell to evolve it now guys. So uh, hope you got your Zell on standby. You're definitely going to need it uh, to evolve these seven stars. Expensive stuff. But if you can get all of those materials you'll be able to take your makers up to a seven star form. So... If you know your boy Trey, you know I'm all about makers, hands down. This is my boy forever, and everybody know that. <laughs> so, let's discuss him a little bit. Um, his, his looks are killer. I mean, there's nothing really more to say there. He, he, he looks just freaking amazing. So, uh, let's discuss him a little bit. Once again, majority of the information off to the left side of the screen. I'm just going to try to come with you guys with the specifics about him. So his leader skill, pretty straightforward. 100% boost to attack and 30% HP increase to dark types only, guys. That's dark types only. His BB, pretty straightforward. 10 combo, powerful dark attack on all enemies. His SBB, also pretty straightforward. 12 combo, powerful dark attack on all enemies and greatly boost defense. Now that SBB, once you get it to level 10 guys, it boosts defense by 110%, which is pretty considerable guys. That's a considerable amount of a defense boost there, so good stuff. And then, the most electrifying UBB out in Brave Frontier Global right now is called Dark Ending. A 22 combo, massive dark attack on all enemies, greatly boosts defense for all allies for 3 turns, and all damage received is reduced to one guys that's right o n e one for one turn so magris is pretty much the ultimate damage mitigation unit guys if you time that perfectly you can make even the most powerful of bosses look like bernies squirties gloomies and whatever else you want to imagine that are super duper ultra weak um Magris is the epitome of damage mitigation in this game now. And as far as I know, he is for a long time. There's no better damage mitigation unit out there than my boy Magris, alright? So, his UBB increases defense by 150%, by the way, for three turns. And then the one turn, you're going to only take one damage. Now, when it comes to seven stars, 
they have what's known as a extra skill guys when you unlock the UBB Magrus's extra skill is called true Knight's pride it is a 20% boost to all parameters in battle so it's basically like equipping him with another medulla gem on top of the spheres you already got him equipped with it's insane and that is why the starters because all the starters have a similar skill they all get a 20% boost to their, st their stats that extra skill is why these starters will pretty much never become redundant again guys when you take them into battle they're pretty much equipped with a medulla gem and their stats bolster even more than what you see on the screen here so you know in battle just add another 20% to the HP attack defense and recovery and that's pretty much the true statistics minus any other factors that these starters will have in battle so they'll pretty much never become redundant guys usually the starters once something more powerful comes out beforehand they became redundant they were just too weak stats too low they just weren't there anymore but with that extra skill they'll always always uh, be pretty much useful so 20% boost to all parameters and for Magris adds chance of ignoring an opponent's defense when attacking the only condition is you have to have these starters equipped with their respective spheres guys so you know the name of Magris's lance is Leo Merge. So you equip him with the sphere, boom, his extra skill activates. When you go into a battle, you're going to see his HP go from 9,100 up to like 10,000 something. It's crazy. So, uh, yeah, that he's the man right here. So all seven star units have an ultimate brave burst or a UBB and an extra skill. Those two are Magrus's, all right? Now... Let's take my boy on the road. Let's go, let's go take him for a spin. See what he's all about here. In case you don't know yet. Because they restricted it, guys. You can only evolve one starter right now. So whomever you chose, you, I mean, you see my choice. And pretty much anybody who knew me knew that was going to be my choice. But uh, whomever you choose to evolve, many have evolved Selena. Whoever you choose, you can only evolve one at this point in time. So uh, make sure you choose wisely, whomever you want it to be. All right. So what we're gonna do? Usually, I would come by myself or with the only unit I'm reviewing. But since these seven stars are a little bit different, we're gonna bring a whole squad to help build up the BB gauge. All right. And then we're gonna take it uh, one step at a time and showing off these seven stars. So first, I'm gonna uh, work on these guys one at a time. First, let's check out Magus's attack animation, which I love, by the way. You see the dark energy forms a spear or an extension of his lance which looks pretty freaking sick by the way so uh, I love it good stuff absolutely good stuff so we're gonna build up Magrus's BB gauge here and then I'm gonna use his skills one at a time guys here one at a time so first we're gonna start with the BB alright the BB is called Gloom of the Abyss let's check it out Ooh. All right, and then just for purposes of building up BB gauge, we're gonna attack with the other ones. So you saw his BB, sexy looking thing it is. All right, now we're gonna uh, build up and use his SBB. So here's his SBB, guys. It's called Darkest Rise. All right, here we go. That's the boy right there. That defense increased by 110%. Sexy stuff. Alright guys, now what we're going to do, we're going to try to slow it down a little bit. And try to build up this gauge at the bottom of the screen. If you don't know, when you bring a 7 star unit along, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you have what's known as an overdrive gauge. That overdrive gauge is what you need in order to use the UBB or ultimate brave burst of a seven star unit, which in this instance is Magus. Now just so you know, if you have more than one seven star unit guys, that overdrive gauge is shared by them all. Each unit does not have their own overdrive gauge guys. So uh, make sure when you want to use the ultimate brave burst, you're using it on the unit that you actually want to use the UBB of, alright? So we got the gauge filled up, ready to go. 
So now what I'm going to do is show you how to use a ultimate bread burst, guys, because the mechanics are a little different here. All right, so the first thing you have to do, whichever unit, seven star unit you have out there, you hold the screen and you see your options here. Up for BB, right for SBB, down for guard, and left for overdrive. So you swipe to the left, guys, and this is what happens. A little animation, overdrive gauge empties, and now if you look at Magris' name, you see there he has a red glow behind his name, picture, and so on and so forth. Well, now that's because he's ready to use his ultimate brave burst, but before you can use it, you have to fill up his gauge. It has a BC cost to it, kind of like a BB or SBB. There's a cost to it, and you have to fill up that gauge before you can use it. And when you use the overdrive, it takes up his turn. As you see here, I can't attack or do anything with him now because he's. I used him to go into overdrive mode this turn. So now I just need to get his gauge filled up. So in order to do this without attacking, here's what I'm going to do because I don't want to kill the King Sparky. So we're not going to kill the King Sparky. I'm just going to use Sheeta to fill up the uh, UBB gauge, all right? So Sheeta gives 10 BCs with his SBB. Now, the gauge is filled, so we got him filled up. Now, in order to use the UBB, you have to swipe like a regular BB, guys. One of the first things I did when I first tried to use a UBB is I tried to swipe to the right like I was using the SBB. That's not what you do. What you have to do is swipe up. And I'll show you here. You hold, and it says Ultimate Brave Burst. Swipe up. All right? So just like a regular Brave Burst, you want to swipe up. And then uh, you'll use it, all right? So here it goes, guys. You ready? Ultimate Brave or Ultimate Brave Burst, Dark Ending. Let's see it. Twenty-two hits right there, baby. And that's it. 150% defense boost and damage mitigation and in its ultimate form guys so uh there you have it if that sparky would have hit me not that it would have mattered shoot I could be doing a trial and battling against Maxwell all damage would have only been one that is the ultimate in damage mitigation right there baby and that's why Magris in my opinion will pretty much never die out He's definitely going to be used by me pretty much all the time, needless to say. So, uh, that's Magris in a nutshell, guys. So, um, that pretty much tells you all about him. Um, pros and cons about Magris. Um, pros. He's beast. That pretty much explains it all. <laughs> he is the man, man. Best damage mitigation. Very nice with the defense buffs. Um, so you can have that bulkiness added to your squad um, decent amount of hits I don't know what his normal attack drop check is because um, his normal attack is only seven hits so I don't know what his drop check is but uh, he, he's just a man the extra skill is crazy equipping him with Leo Murd he absorbs HP he gets BB gauge when he attacks I mean, the guy's just beast, and I have a lore type. Most people are, are going to have anima types of him. I, for the life of me, could never get an anima type. I've gotten multiple, multiple Magruses, and none of them have been anima type, which I'm all right with because his recovery is horribly low anyway. But uh, anima type is definitely what you want, guys. So if you can pull an anima type, raise an anima type. I didn't have that uh, privilege, so I went, I went ahead and uh, raised my lore type. So I got him equipped with Leo Merg Demon Core for building up BB Gauge and he's just beast guys. Honestly in my opinion there's nothing bad about this guy. He's just the bee's knees, ultimate in damage mitigation, you need a defense buff, whatever you need, this guy can do it man. He's beast, he's a monster. Hands down A++++ unit right here guys. Nothing bad to say about him, my opinion. He's the best and will always be the best. <laughs> So, uh, that's pretty much going to wrap up our 7 star evolution slash review of Dark Legend Magris, alright? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I really love this unit. Magris forever, baby. 
so uh don't forget guys um upper right to subscribe lower right to check out the previous video and if you wish to join the facebook group the link is down in the description i thank you for watching please continue to like subscribe favorite share comment and everything else and i'll be back at your screen with more brave frontier global soon later guys